wanted to do a video on this particular guitar because if you're looking for an inexpensive guitar um, you don't have a lot of money and you don't know what guitar to pick and you have between you know you want to spend between five and seven hundred dollars that's your budget this is an excellent guitar to buy okay this is a an Epiphone Century Line series. Uh, it's called the Olympic. Okay. And some of the features of this guitar. Here's the headstock. It's got a beautiful headstock. And the tuners are very, very well made, as you can see. Okay. It's got a big headstock on it. It's got a very wide neck. It's got a fat neck, like a baseball neck. That's what I love about it. And I know I, I own more expensive guitars, but this guitar I just can't say enough about. Okay? It doesn't have a sound hole, so it's not as loud. But it's got a good sound. is adjustable on it so you've got you can adjust the bridge on it as you can see the tail piece is very well made it's very solid all right the guitar all the way around is very solid now you can plug this guitar in I know this the top is spruce I think the back and sides are maple uh, but the top is spruce it's got electronics, it's got a pickup in it. Um, you can see the jack here. And the, your 9 volt battery, this pops out and you have a 9 volt battery in there. It sounds very good plugged in. I don't have an amp at the moment to, to really plug it in, like an acoustic amp. So I won't be plugging it in, but it sounds awesome plugged in. Um, it's just all around for between five and seven hundred. You can find them online used for you know five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars. Brand new, they're between seven and eight. I got this in a trade actually, but it's a very well made, solid guitar. It's got a nice wide knot, nice wide neck. So what I'd like to do, I'm not going to waste, you know, the whole video on just showing the guitar. But if you need a budget guitar, you, you don't have a lot of money, this is a good way to go. And especially if you like blues stuff. This guitar, I mean, for any kind of music, it works great. But it's a beautiful guitar and very well made. Very solid. So what I'm going to show, I'm going to show a, a Lightning Hopkins lick that I know. take the slide off actually it does work good as a slide guitar that lick. This is a Lightning Hopkins lick from the song uh, Shining Moon. I don't play the song exactly the way Lightning played it. I play it, uh, I do the main riff. When I do a cover of a song, I'll keep the main riff of the song. So what I'm doing here is I'm going open, I'm keeping this bit my A bass going, and I'm going the fifth fret, so I'm going from the second fret open to the second fret, and then I'm doing uh, a pull up hammer on pull up. And then I'm going to the first fret, second string, third string, uh, second fret, 
So I'm going. And then I'm going to a long A, covering both of these uh, strings of the fifth fret, the first and second string. And then into an A7. Okay. This D7 here at your uh, starting at the fifth fret, fourth fret. If you don't know this D7, it's a very nice chord, and there's all kinds of notes you can play with. I'm at the fifth fret with my two string, two fingers here, ring finger, fifth fret, baby finger, little finger, fifth fret, and then at the fourth, fifth string, and then I'm going into this D7, so I'm going to this D7 to give it a little chord harmony. didn't turn around like this, but I'm using like a Gary uh, Davis. So I'm taking the A7. And then I'm moving the whole thing. I'm putting my fingers like this. So I've got the A7 barred. Stones kind of rep. And then putting my little finger down there. D7, you can use this one. that it's important to sometimes not learn a song note for note but to keep the main riff of the song and then steal other chord shapes and, and, and inversions whatever and licks from other players and stick them in there to make it different so I keep the main riff in the song is called Shining Moon Which I call the Robert 
Johnson D, which is just your D7, and then your thumb, and trilling on this note. keep the main riff so whenever I'm going back to the A I'm usually repeating that riff and then when I'm going to the D and the E I'm mixing different D's sometimes I'll use this one sometimes I'll use this one sometimes I'll add this note and to the E I will use that note as well. I'll do my D, E7. Okay, so that's basically the basics of the entire song. And then you can add other. So if I'm using the Robert Johnson D is I will use this D and I'll bring it up here to the diminished. you keep the main riff the same. did use this D, but he would use it like this. He would use these fingers and then put this finger here. So that's another light chord I learned from Lightning Hawkins. And the same as the D, or the E. He used this E a lot in many songs. Which is like your D7, your E7 your pinky there. So it's 
just up to you to learn that main riff. I'm going to go over it again very quickly. And then adding in different Ds and different Es. Inversions of those chords, okay? So again, I'm going to go over this quickly. But I'm just, I'm not going to do the bass. I'm just going to do the first string. did the Robert Johnson turn around. Okay? He never did the Reverend Gary Davis turn around. And I don't even know that I have that right. I've just listened to a lot of his music and that's the closest I can come to it. basics of the song as long as you keep that main riff so uh, he did the song Shining Moon he did it a whole bunch of different ways but that's the way that I always liked it I like that riff This is a great guitar. Okay? Thanks for watching.